Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Do you let go of clutter, but then at no time it's back to the way it was? Do your books on releasing clutter and getting organized collect dust on a shelf? Do you know you need to dig deeper on releasing clutter but keep getting stuck? Our Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out Releasing and Affirming MP3s support you in all areas of your life, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about moving tips for pets. When I got married to my husband, he and Joey, our awesome black cat, moved into our home. I wish I would have known then some things that would have made the move much easier for Joey. Now I understand cats much more than I understand dogs, but I think everything we're going to talk about today, whether you have a bird, snake, they, it's all applicable. Now again, of course, I would check in with your veterinarian because they know your pet and might have other advice, but this is enough to at least get you started or have some things to think about. In an ideal world, you have a couple months to prepare to get ready to move. I think my husband and I, I believe we're going to be moving within the next year or so, and so I have already started to plan. I created this because I wanted to get information to know about Joey to be prepared for him. So of course you can scrunch this timeline, but I started with two to months for two to four months out from your move. So about two to four months, and again, if it's one to three, a month, whatever, but this is just a guideline. Start to prepare your pets. Get your pets ready by traveling short distances in cars. Now, I know with cats, again, every cat, every dog, every pet is unique. My brother and sister-in-law and their kids just came to visit, and JJ and Coco are two dogs, and they rode all over the eastern seaboard and seemed to love it and be fine with it. Joey gets nervous when he has to drive 30 minutes to the vet. So if that's the case with your pet, start getting them ready by now, taking them on short distances in the car. Get them used to the feel of that. Also, it's time to start, start searching for a new vet and in an emergency animal hospital so that when you move, just in case something happens, you're prepared. If you don't know anyone in the town that you're moving to, I'm sure that you can find lots of boards out there on the internet and ask advice for people. I know we have one here in Raleigh, people, the city of Raleigh, that people can ask questions. So start doing that research now and start getting your pet ready. About six to eight weeks before, Learn a little bit more about your new area where you're moving. Ask if there are any local health concerns such as heartworm or Lyme disease or any vaccinations or medications your pet may require, as that can vary from city and state. I'd also encourage you to find out any laws that you might have in your area. For instance, here in Raleigh, a dog must be on a leash. They can't run around without one. About four to six weeks, get your vet records and get the copies forwarded to the new vet. Most things, I believe, are online now, at least with our vet. And if not, start to ask for copies so you'll have those ready. About one to two weeks before, create a list of the essential box for your pets. This is something that you're going to want to bring with you, whether you're traveling by air, car, train, every essential item that your pet is going to need right when you move in and it's going to be the first thing that you want to unpack. Here are some things to consider. Food, dishes, water, medications, bed, litter box, and toys. You might also need a leash for dogs. Another thing you will want to recheck is if you're moving by plane, what are restrictions for pets? 
or if you're having your pet move, what are the things that you need to know? The week of the move, make arrangements to either board your pets or keep with a friend or relative while the movers come. It can be a little crazy and if it's all possible, try to get your pet out the day that the movers come. Also in the week of the move, if not the day before, pack your essentials box. You've made your list, you'll know everything that you need to keep your dog, cat, fish, snake, bird happy. Here are some tips when moving in. The first thing you're going to want to do is unpack your pet's essential box. Get them everything set up so they can start to get familiar with the home and realize, hey, this is our new home and this is where we're going to be living. Keep all windows and doors closed when the pets aren't going to be unsupervised. Be very aware of narrow gaps behind or between appliances where nervous pets may hide. If your old home is nearby, the pet may try to go back. My brother and sister-in-law adopted a dog and he just, they had to return him. He was at the shelter and he kept trying to go back to his other home and he, the last time he dug underneath the fence and all got scratched up and it was just not good for them and not good for the dog. But if you're close by, they might try to go back. Give the new homeowners or your former neighbors your phone number and a photo of your pet just in case he does try to go back and they can spot him and look out for him. As I mentioned earlier, you're going to want to unpack your essentials box right away. Get your pet feeling at home. Consider purchasing something like Feel Away, Adaptil, or natural soothing products. This was one huge mistake I made. I had no idea, and looking back, I would have had Feel Away and put it in a couple days before Joey moved in to help calm him. He tends to be a nervous cat, and that's something that would have been beneficial to him. Also at this time, learn any rules if you're moving into a community or if you have an HOA. Learn what the rules and regulations are with pets so you're aware of them. If you found this valuable, you might want to check out my previously recorded class that goes into a lot more detail and offers many other tips for a successful and stress-free move. We just don't talk about pets, we talk about kids, we talk about movers, tips for finding the right movers, and provide you with a timeline starting a couple months before your move. Also, if you're stuck with the last minute move, we also have a lot of tips for that and much, much more. Hopefully you've learned some wonderful tips today to help you for a stress-free move with your pets. Go out, clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Do you let go of clutter, but then at no time it's back to the way it was? Do your books on releasing clutter and getting organized collect dust on a shelf? Do you know you need to dig deeper on releasing clutter but keep getting stuck? Our Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out Releasing and Affirming MP3s support you in all areas of your life, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, ebooks, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique Clutter-Free Living Mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.